Hello everyone, how's it going? In this video, we're going to look into this company called Verb Technology, ticker symbol VERB. It ran up considerably yesterday and the day before yesterday, but as of this morning, pre-market hours, it's been falling close to about 14-15% of its value. So if you look into the five-day chart on the 29th and 30th, it ran up considerably going up to about 75-76%, and then right now it's falling a little bit. So basically, this news came out with this analyst, Edward Wu. We came out on the June 28th with a very strong buy rating of about $4. So the stock is right now sitting at about $2. And when he came out, it was right at about $1.28. And after this, he's basically giving a target of about $4 in the span of one year. So 12 months, basically. So he's taking, talking about how the SaaS company, Software as a Service, Verb Technology. The good thing about Software as a Service is you're creating the software and you have this application built once. So you invest and you put in your effort and time and investment up front and you build the software and then that's it. The all about you don't need to worry about making the software. There will be a small maintenance or uh, things that will be involved, but majorly once the software is done, it's done and you're just selling it out to the customers. Not unlike a brick or mortar or maybe an e-commerce store where you just basically have to be continuously building products. But in the software as a service, you just make one software and that's a piece of software that doesn't require anything and you just keep on selling it. So that, that's the advantage of having software as a service. Uh, YouTube, Amazon, Microsoft, these are all software as a service companies. So that, now coming down to uh, what, what he's basically talking about. So if you go into the analyst report right here, he's talking about Verb has several key products launching soon, including a Microsoft Outlook integration, which should launch very soon. Basically, I, I found this particular article, this is from March 4th, 2021, where Verb readies a release of much anticipated interactive video integration with Microsoft Outlook. So if this comes out, this will be a big, big news for them. Now, basically might help with the price target. Now, offers expansive beta program for small businesses impacted by COVID. We'll, we'll look into what they offer and what kind of product they are looking into. But basically, he's saying how this company has been increasing their revenues. If you look into this particular chart, he's talking about how in his Q1 2021 report, the reports or the reported revenue were about uh, 25, 34% year over year, 18% sequentially from quarter four, and uh, basically 71% on the total revenues showing how, how it has been increasing especially from that quarter four of last year and if you look into this Edward Wu guy this analyst has about 4.5 percent on tip ranks about 62 percent success rate average return of 17.5 percent and uh, this volume chart on Yahoo Finance shows about how it was on trading at about 600,000 about close to a million but as of yesterday and day before yesterday, they were trading at about 94, 95, and about 23 million yesterday. So let's look into this product as a together. So this is basically the product, and uh, you can see this is on the Salesforce Apex Exchange where you can buy and use the product. Uh, they're targeting e-commerce stores and where you can create videos and of the of the product and have live conversation with your audience. So they're targeting the retail, the, the customers are going to be e-commerce stores. So you can see how they can view or host the child, the whole video and the shop for them, for their viewers and the viewers can interact. And then based on that, it can also give them the metrics of how people are viewing there and even purchase items from their a video basically but this is a youtube presentation from verb so uh, i mean if you're looking at it it's more like an advertisement for people so uh, when we're looking at the company as an investor you just don't look into the positive aspect but also the negative aspect so this particular video would be more on the forward looking where uh, they're basically talking good but uh, it gives an idea of what they're basically doing <laughs> Recently, Bombshell Boutique partnered with Verb Live for a 30-minute live shopping experience. During this event, the host modeled a variety of pre-selected looks for the audience who were able to ask questions, socialize, and provide feedback via the chat feature. 
The displayed pieces were then available for instant purchase via clickable in-video links. This has a nice lining that goes down to a balcony area, and then it's just nice and flowy. So I'll, I'll put the link in the description for you to look at yourself. Basically, they are showing how the e-commerce stores can interact and show their videos online real time and their customers can interact with them and if they if they are interested they can go ahead and buy the product right there and then and this is another thing. Verve's sales enablement platform is a revolutionary way to host live interactive webinars Verve Live is the ultimate tool for presentations but more importantly frictionless shopping allowing users to grow revenue faster than ever before as a presenter, the host has two options, broadcast mode, allowing for thousands of participants globally, and meeting mode, intended for smaller groups and traditional video conferencing. Verb Live has all the basic features of a webinar platform that you would expect. Participant view, activity reports, chat functionality with participants, and screen share. Existing customers of the Verb platform can expect a seamless integration with their current white list. So that gives an idea of what Verb is into. Basically, if you go back to the Yahoo Finance, if you're looking at the holders position, it has about 11.2% of insiders. So it's owned by the insiders, which is not, not too bad, but yeah, something to look into basically. I mean, it's good to have owner operated businesses who have you know their skin in the game, who have their interests aligned with the interest of the shareholders. Uh, in terms of the data Roma website, it doesn't show any major investor, major you know, super investors invested in this company. But uh, yeah, they're definitely something interesting to look into. I just want to share this information with you. Uh, do your own research before you do anything with this company. You know, don't listen to someone who's just talking to you on the internet. You know, go over and do your own research. This is not financial advice. With that, take care. Stay safe. Bye-bye.